Hi everybody, Dan Slater. And I'm Todd Miller. We've got the highlights for you from this week's games. Let's look at them. Well, our first highlights take us to Bishop and Oak High School for the big matchup between Reno and Bishop and Oak. Oh, they put on a great show every time, and this was no different. Well, folks, in set number one, halfway through, honestly, I really thought this was going to be a sweep by Reno. First sends out, nothing Huskies. The Miners were full of nerves, and at one point it was 16 to 5 Reno. Now they've played it, and they're still alive, coming over. It's going to go long. Whoa, what a first set by the Huskies. The Miners made a run at it, but this is how this set ended. And there it is. The Huskies will take set number one, 25-19. But surprisingly, the Miners got it together in the second set. Block. It's out there, it ain't touch, no. Miners grab a lead at 14-13. And this is how the second set ended. Dug up. Oh, Mama, they went to Lou again, and she hammered that one. And the Miners tie this match up at one apiece, 25-22. Well, set number three was a real battle with the change of leads constantly, and this is how it finished. Still alive, but uh, nope, it's not going to get there. And the uh, Huskies will go up two sets to one. 25 to 21. Well, in set number four, the Miners had their backs to the wall. Gets it in, that's the main thing. Try to sneak it over. They're going to send it over. They do. Reagan with another tip. Oh, beautiful dig. Another great dig. That's going down, though, by Lil. McWirth with another big kill. They fought their way back to set point. That's the situation. They get it in. Blocked. Still going. Knocked around, going to have to tip it over. Dug up, they got a chance here. And oh, Mama Lily came through three times, four times in a row. What a performance here to push it to overtime. And it's 25-21, your final of this one. Well, they went to set number five, and again, it looked like the Huskies were going to walk out of here with a win. We'll get the serve. It's got the serve in, that's the big thing. Still alive, going to have to bump over a free ball. Didn't get the best of it out of it. Blocked. Going to keep it alive. And oh, they dinked it instead of pounding it. Houston with a big point. I believe it was low. The Huskies had a six-point lead with only three points to go. But then came Lil Beckwith. <laughs> well... When you gotta need money, you go to the bank. They went to the bank a little there. Does. Good try here. And it's still going. Gonna have to send it over. They do. Oh, another little point. She must have a bunch of kills tonight. 
and it's down to one point lead for the Huskies. The Huskies tied it up, and then here she came again. Oh, she had to play it. Not gonna get anything good out of this. Free ball to the Miners. Well, she couldn't get a good kill there. Dug up. They send it to Lil. Dug up. Off the block and the Miners have taken the lead. Oh, mama. But now the Huskies wouldn't quit. Wow, what a match. And she's got every serve in what she needed to do. Did she touch it? Yes. And we're tied at 13. And here's how this whole thing finished up. Lil Houston will do it. Oh my goodness gracious, she's been spectacular. 14-13, and we've got match point. It's in. Dug up. Dug up. Going for the kill, blocked. Gonna have to send it over. Oh, Mama, it's out, and the Bishop and Old Miners have pulled off a huge victory here tonight, and the fans are going bananas. Your final score in overtime, 15-13. What a comeback by the Miners. Well, in the win, the Miners not only came away with an exciting victory, they came away with a player with a bright future, and we talked to her. Hi, everybody. Dan Slater here. I've got Lil Beckworth here, and um, this young lady, she's just got uh, introduced to a Reno and Bishop and Oak rivalry volleyball contest. It is intense, isn't it? Yeah, it was a really great game last night. I have never seen a performance from an underclassman dominate the way you did last night. You were Thank just you. completely awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I understand from Sophie you haven't been playing that long. No, I haven't. So I was a soccer player for um, about 10 years since I was very young. And that was like my main sport for a very long time. I was very passionate about it. And then I started um, volleyball just about uh, around two years ago. And just and then I started getting like super um, serious about it around my freshman year. And yeah, ever since I've just been loving it, so. Well, um, I know Sophie's glad you made the switch. Uh, Amber's probably upset, but. Yeah, <laughs> we always talk about it. Well, sure. anyways, um, I wanna congratulate you on a, just a tremendous performance. Thank you. And I wanna ask you, you know, when the first set, you were down like, mm -hmm. I think it was like, 15 to 6 or something like mm -hmm. that. Did, were you a little nervous and afraid? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, think you were completely out of control because you, th nobody was making any serves and it was just awful. I think everyone was a little, they had a lot nervous. of adrenaline in them and like obviously the crowd and everyone, but I think that I, everyone just kind of had to come together and take a really deep breath and honestly I think that I, we, someone just needed like someone to just start and I'll say you did <laughs> thank you um, and just kind of get that like leap of faith for everyone and just kind of start a chain of events that would help us like go to that win one more question now you were down 12 to 6 in the fifth set mm -hmm. and were you wondering if Coach was going to call a timeout? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> she let you guys play, and I asked her about it. She says, nope, they're going to play win this out. <laughs> yeah. And she was right. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. Go get them. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we moved to McQueen High School where there was another crucial battle. It was the Senators and the Lancers fighting to get a good seating position. And our man Todd Miller was there for the action. Well, winning the first set seemed to be the key of this match as Carson got off to a fast start. 
Gets it over. Carson's going to set it up. Here it comes across. Queen able to up it, but back to the other side. Pushes it over into no man's land. Point Carson. Five serving two. Comes across and blocked down. Point Carson. Carson off to a quick four point lead. But quickly the Lancers fought back. <laughs> Queen, nice save off of that one. Sends it over for free. Carson sets up, brings it across, blocked by the Lancers. Dinks it over. Played by Carson. Carson brings it back across. Nice up. It comes back to Carson's side. It's over and I believe we got a net violation there. So that gives the Lancers the lead. The two teams just went at it the rest of the way. Oh, Pabillo for the serve. That one goes long. So ball goes back to the Lancers. 12 serving nine. Have to send a free over. Sets up Carson. They dink it across. Lancers get it set. Another free ball. Over. Oh! Carson dinks it right into no man's land. 13 serving 12. When they got to the 20s, Carson seemed to grab the momentum. Off the basketball hoop. Lancers have to send it over for a free play. And that goes out. Point Senators, 21 serving 18. Timeout McQueen. And the Senators closed out set number one. And the first set goes to the Senators, 25-18. In the critical set number two, the two teams battled all the way to 23, and this is how it finished. Oh, beautiful up, sends it over, and into no man's land. Score, Carson. 24, serving 23. And Carson gets the second set. 25-23. Well, at set number three, the Senators were feeling strong, and halfway through the set, they took charge. Just off the net. Spikes it down. Point Carson. And this was the finish. That one's a little high. Carson gets set up and into the net. And Carson takes it in three straight sets. 25-18. Well, this is Dan Slater. And Todd Miller. Good night, everybody.